I have this theory that the World Economic Forum, which is historically committed to improving the state of the world, and it brings all of these leaders into one place, and it tells them, hey, together we can do anything we want. We are rich, we are powerful, we are political leaders, we have billions of dollars, and we can look at the problems in the world and solve the problems of the world. And all of that has gone away this year. The, everyone has lived through the last crisis is looking at the next crisis coming at us like this unstoppable train. And they're saying, oh my God, all we can try and work out is how on earth can we try and jump out of the way of this train? Is there any way we can hedge these risks? Probably not, by the way. You know, If the train hits you, the train hits you and there's nothing you can really do about it. And the amount of ridiculous hubris and overconfidence that somehow the people here on top of a Swiss Alps somewhere can get together and either stop the train or like mitigate its impact. I'm not hearing it anywhere at all. Everyone is very resigned to their kind of powerlessness. I, mean, I think this is a new feeling I've never, never really felt here in Davos before. Normally people are very um, full of themselves, and I think this is the year of modesty when people wake up and realize that they have no control. We saw this last year with the, with the Arab Spring. Um, you know, here we were like talking away, you know, amongst each other while the real news was happening completely out of our control in Egypt, and and now the real news is happening completely out of our control in Europe. And even though it's all of the Europeans are here, it's like there's nothing we can do. We, all we can do is watch. Well, I hope you guys just keep going.